Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and um, this is a follow-up video in my VHF versus the VHF UHF live show and also in uh, one of my videos I was explaining how for very little you can get into the world of scanner radio uh, if you don't want to buy a 100, 200, 300 or you know, even more expensive scanner radio you can still listen to the VHF UHF frequencies using a little dongle like this uh, Canadian dollars here, 772, that means it's what, six dollars American or something. It's really, really not expensive if you look at the shipping and the price of the device. For ten bucks, you're running a VHF UHF scanner. Of course, you need to have a special driver that is Zadig, but once you install that, and I can show you now, here is the dongle. I've actually received one. The other day when I was actually talking about it, I thought, well, why not do a video and talk about this? So here it is, and it works fantastically. So when I actually start SDR Sharp on my computer, here you get the SDR Sharp. Sorry for the, uh, I'm just going to move it like this so that you don't see the, uh, the outsides too much. And basically here it goes. I'm gonna start it now. Press the play button. And here we go. We're at a scanner radio. Now it's tuned to 119. I can tune it if I want to say a frequency like the frequency for my local weather. 162550. Press enter. Put it in FM mode here in the menu. Narrow FM. Here you go. I now have the weather on 16255 megahertz. So it's really cool, works fantastically well, has a scanner and you've got the added bonus that with SDR Sharp that you see here, or even with HD SDR, you have a waterfall, you have a display, you can click on the peaks, see what type of communication, so you go into one of the peaks here, so I want to hear that one. What's this? This is a trunk signal. So, you know, you go to the peaks, you check out what information and what's the signals that you hear. And it's pretty wide band. Uh, for example, I can hear my uh, neighbor's uh, baby monitor on 49.830. I can hear signals on 800 megahertz. So, for example, we got signals here on uh, 935. So, you can actually go and tune. So, you go to 9. 36 uh, 000. and here are the signals so I can click see if I can hear communications so this is trunking stuff you can change of course the different options so here you hear the trunking if there's conversations you'll hear the conversations and that's pretty pretty amazing amazing little device that you can tune very wide range approximately from about 25 megahertz all the way to uh, 1.45, even a little higher um, gigahertz. So it's really a wideband open device. You can uh, listen to uh, narrow FM, AM, sidebands, and it's pretty sensitive. And even with the little cheapo antenna here, it's already surprising what you can hear. So imagine you just need to put better antenna with it. So uh, get one if you don't have one already. It's just so inexpensive and you get a nice little scanner radio plugged in your computer. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you do. Thank you for watching.